The Naismith Moment, a look at hardwood history, culture, and the Canadian game. This week on the Naismith Moment, the Cleveland Canadian controversy. They say that lightning never strikes twice. Well, the Cavaliers in Cleveland have got it four times. This year, this week, they got the number one pick in the NBA draft lottery for the fourth time in recent years. Just defying the odds completely. Uh, it's a shocker to me. And I think somehow they made a pact with the devil and who knows what else. But one thing I have to say is Adam Silver, please, please, please. I want to see these ping pong balls. I don't want to see this behind the scenes, lawyers, suitcases. Let us see this. Make this reality TV because guess what? The ratings will be high. We will tune in and you won't have people saying controversy, controversy, controversy. Back to Cleveland. You know, you've got to think about this city and this franchise. you got to think about fat Sean Kemp. you got to think about Craig Elo. you got to think about it's been 25 years since Michael Jordan made that shot. You know, outside of this game, not much else. The Indians, the Browns, not a lot of success. So I wish them goodness. I wish something good comes out of this because you know what? They need that luck. So... People are saying there's three ways that this pick can roll out, and with Cleveland, you never know what's going to happen. See Anthony Bennett. Number one, I think they'll take Joel Embed. Well, why? Because he's a center of attention. Rare to see a big with so much athletic diversity, I'd say. Akeem Olajuwon comes to mind. But he's got two stress fractures in recent years. That's kind of a head-scratcher. I don't know if you're going to go with that. The number two option they have is to go try to flip it and get Kevin Love and, you know what, King James. Other guys can try to fix her into the team, come back to Cleveland. I don't think that's going to work. Kind of an outside chase, I'll call this a, a, a black sheep option. Let's go Jabari Parker or Julius Randle. I don't think they're going to go for either one. I think what they're going to do is they're going to go with the man, the Canadian, the, I hate the term, Maple Jordan, Andrew Wiggins, who is probably the best player to come out of the draft since a man named LeBron in 2003. So they should go through Andrew Wiggins, but then again, that crosses what's called the Cleveland Canadian controversy. How can you have him, Anthony Bennett, and Tristan Thompson on the same team? You don't. It's illegal. Stephen Harper won't allow it. So basically, one of those guys can be traded, probably Tristan Thompson, who's on the block, and make, you know what? Make Andrew Wiggins a new kid on the block. I'm going to love it, Cannon's going to love it, and the world's going to love it. And guess who else is going to love it? Dr. James Nathan. See you next week on the show.